you guys, what's up? This is Splice the Movie Fan and it's time for another commentary video. This time I will be commentating on the most pathetic rant on the CC I have ever seen. And by the way, the title of this video is no exaggeration. I'm aware that Lance himself disowns this video. But there are some problems that I have with it though that I want to address. And don't worry, I will bring something new to the table. If I didn't have anything new to bring to the table, I wouldn't have made this fucking commentary. Also, I know I might be late to the party, but better late than never, right? So anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Hey guys, Lance here, or whatever the fuck you want to call me. Whatever the fuck you want to call you, you say, well, in that case, I am calling you the guy who is overreacting to a massive degree. I, I, I just saw this video and my recommendations, it just made me, I guess, so fucking angry when I saw it. It's video from Doodle Tones, which reminded me how fucking low the CC has came this year. <sighs> I want to tell talk to about a couple things that she said in the video. First off, like, like ah, this is gonna be a one take, so expect me to be like fucking shit in this. So you just admitted that you're making this video right off the cuff. Doing that is a bad idea for a couple of reasons. You're likely to repeat yourself, stutter. Ramble on, make bad points, or all of the above, which is evidently what you are doing in this video. My advice is next time when you make a video, please think it through before you make it. But anyway, like, <sighs> she said that Berg do will defend you only if you agree with his ideology. First off, he, like, I'm not sure if he's friends with her anymore, but he definitely supports Ponder Sprocket, which has, like, the exact opposite fucking, like, I, like, political beliefs that he does. Like, if he really only, like, trusted conservatives, he wouldn't have supported fucking Ponder Sprocket, you fucking imbecile. Alright, first problem. You drag this point out for far too long. This is exactly why you should think about what you want to say before you make a video. As for your actual point, well, this is a good point, I will admit that, but it doesn't change the fact that Burr Production has a very logical grudge with the commentary community. <sighs> also, she says, like, oh, you call me a social justice warrior. Really? Like, you blocked so many fucking people on Twitter. Like, that's an act that only a, a person which A, can't take criticism, or B, is someone who's a fucking social justice warrior. Oh, great, you are using a term against Doodle Tones that literally nobody wants to associate themselves with. Though, to be fair, there are some legitimate reasons to consider someone a social justice warrior, but this isn't one of them. You're just abusing a term you probably don't know even the meaning of. Also, did you even read any of the comments from the people Doodle Tones blog? Most of those people say something along the lines of go kill yourself or you have a disgusting diaper fetish. And those comments are not criticism. The former is a pathetic death threat. As for the latter, well that is pure fucking slander because uh, Stoodle Tones doesn't have a diaper fetish. She might have defended the people who do have it, but that doesn't mean that she does have it. I mean think about it, there are a lot of straight people who defend homosexual rights. Oh, fucking hell! And telling your critics to die? It's like one of the most immature, sipid things you can do. I agree with you that death threats are inexcusable, 
But the thing is, Doodle Tones was angry when she did that. And when you're angry, you do stuff that you normally wouldn't do. And I don't blame her for getting angry. It is easy to ignore nasty comments if you only get a few of them. But if you get one every time you go to your fucking comments page, that's very hard to ignore. And unfortunately, that is the reason why she had to disable comments on that video and block all those people. She did it because there was no better option. You are just a stupid ass person. I bet your hair grows out of the fucking bottom of your skull. That's how stupid you are. Serious question, how old are you? Because that insult you just made is something that a fucking kindergartner would come up with. No, fuck that. Even a kindergartner would be smart enough to realize that this is a fucking stupid insult. Um, also, another thing is that this fucking year, 2016, is the worst fucking year of the entire CC's history. If you really think that 2016 is the worst year for the commentary community, it leads me to believe that you either haven't been around the commentary community much or don't remember much from the past. Because I can tell you for a fact that the commentary community has been through a lot worse situations in the past than anything that's happened in 2016. Back in 2011, Troopers 93 started a lot of pointless drama. Some of the worst drama in the commentary community. He was the definition of a drama whore. Also, during that same year, RJ Barnes Ma flagged anybody who dared to criticize him. Have there been some awful situations happening in 2016 in the commentary community? Yes, of course, I'm not denying that, but compared to a lot of stuff that's happened to me in the past, it's nothing. Yes, even worse than 2013. Yeah, 2013 like had nothing going on, but at least when there was like a, the bandwagons of RTV and the Orion broadcast, at least they weren't like acting like fucking like social justice warriors, like you you can't insult fetishes in a joke video. Err. Like at least there were some good commentaries from that time period. For 2016, there's like barely any from this community. You are implying that there are no notable bandwagons of 2016. There are several notable bandwagons I can think of. Kaplan, Bandicoot 64, Syndicate of Outcasts commentators, as well as the members of that group, Nero's Q, and most recently, Augusto Productions. I find it really fucking hypocritical that people like Doodle Tones despise Leafy is here to the bottom of their hearts, yet she, like, puts out 19 fucking videos a day. What the hell does the fact that Doodle Tones uploads videos frequently have to do with Levy is here? Or are you just abusing the word hypocrite like you abuse the term social justice warrior? It wouldn't surprise me if that was the case. It really wouldn't. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. The title of this video pretty much sums it up. Also, Lens, by the very low chance that you're someone watching this video, please, next time, before you make a video like this, think about whether it's a good idea to make a video like this or not. Because it's obvious that you put absolutely no thought into the video, and it shows because of the poor quality. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.